Yeah, literacy rates in Canada, they're a lot lower than you may realize. In fact, nearly 50% of Canadian adults have literacy skills falling below a high school level. Nearly one in five adults struggle to understand basic text. These stats are from the Program for the International Assessment of Adult Competencies. But there is help. For more than a century, United for Literacy has been helping Canadians improve their literacy skills so they can navigate, navigate life easier and have access to equal opportunities. Melanie Valson, CEO for United for Literacy, joins me this morning to talk more about this. Thanks for being here. Such a pleasure. So what does it mean when we say nearly 50% of adults have uh, literacy rates that score below high school level? What does that mean? Well, it means that it's, we have a big problem uh, when it comes to literacy rates in this country. It means that we have one Canadian out of five that is struggling, for example, to read uh, the prescription on a bottle of medicine, or that is struggling to uh, navigate uh, the health system, or that, has, uh, that is struggling to vote, for example. So we really got to do something about this. Why are the rates so low? That's a good question. You know, we uh, at United for Literacy, we really have um, see every day uh, how literacy changes everything and how people who are struggling for literacy uh, with literacy are um, really kind of left behind. So we we are seeing why the whys are uh, people who have not completed high school, for example. We have uh, learners that are newcomers to Canada and have to uh, learn a language. We have people that are also um, facing learning disabilities, for example. So there's a lot of uh, different reasons. Uh, the, the most important thing, I think, is what can we do about this? Mm -hmm. Well, I imagine because there are so many different reasons, mm -hmm. it makes the answer not straightforward. Exactly. So at United for Literature, we think that you know literacy is a human right so we really work coast to coast to coast literally from PEI to BC all across the Arctic to bring literacy supports to individuals that need um, help in uh, acquiring the literacy skills they need to succeed at school at work or in life in general Melanie you alluded to this talking about when there are literacy issues the challenges someone can face it feels like a domino effect if you can't understand or read the text in front of you what happens then on an individual level? That's a very important question. Um, so if you are struggling with reading, with writing, and also with numeracy, or even with your digital literacy, how can you navigate the world in which we live in today? Uh, I was talking about the health, uh, the health sector earlier. Um, but for example, if you're looking for a job and you want to fill out a, an application form, but the words are dancing in front of you and you can't really figure out how to fill out that application form, same thing for a, a application for housing so you can see how you were talking about a domino effect often we can correlate um, the cycle of poverty with the cycle of low literacy and then there's a larger impact too not just on the personal level but on the Canadian economy that's that's exactly it so low literacy levels affect individuals but entire communities and the entire country so it affects our productivity it affects our prosperity and frankly as I said earlier it affects uh, our, our the level our human rights basically in this country well you can see it right there where if you can't go get a health problem dealt with if you can't get to a doctor if you don't understand the medical instructions given to you how then are you applying for help and support from the government if you then need it exactly yeah. so um, we really really are uh, trying to reach all Canadians that need our support um, across the country just last year we've reached uh, more than 33,000 Canadians of all ages uh, again in all locations so we are going in the community. We're offering free tutoring support to be to to you know contribute to solving the, the problem. You're meeting people where they're at, and I know there's a website as well where people can go. For sure. So you can reach us at uh, unitedforliteracy.ca, and also. Again, across Canada, we have offices and a bunch of volunteers and partners that are just waiting to, uh, you know, help people who are needing help. Melanie, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.